Hey guys, everybody really here. Pretty exciting news, even though we're still lacking the details, but this seems to be something big for SNK fans, especially those of us who have been waiting for years for SNK IP adaptations into mangas, animes, and such. So before we unpack everything of this, what we call the SNK, what is called now the SNK universe, a gentle reminder to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so, so that you are notified whenever I adopt a new video. So here is the thing. Today I woke up to this amazing announcement of it's, it's a tweet. SNK dropped the following tweet here, and I'm like, what is happening? All right. So and they have this this whole thing talking about an SNK universe that leads to the following press release that we're gonna read together, and then we're gonna explain what it means and and try to figure out some stuff here. So. So this is the news release, SNK launches the SNK Universe project to spread the appeal of its IPs worldwide, exhibiting at New York Comic Con with Shueisha XR. All right, so SNK Corporation uh, CEO Kenji Matsubara is proud to announce the launch of the SNK Universe project, an initiative for developing various forms of entertainment, entertainment in order to spread the appeal of SNK IPs worldwide. And we'll come back to this here because this is big. Uh, this project claims to increase uh, global awareness as well as uh, as well as player consumption and enjoyment of SNK's numerous IPs, including series such as The King of Fighters, KOF, Fatal Fury, and Samurai Showdown. By diversifying them across various forms of entertainment, SNK will branch out from the fighting game genre from which it is so well known and even traverse entertainment mediums entirely by entering the worlds of manga, anime, film and music among others what all right we'll come back i'm trying to control my excitement here joint exhibition with shueisha xr at new york comic con which is happening today by the way snk special snk universe project movie will be shown in manga dive format snk will have a joint booth with shueisha xr at new york comic con which runs from october 12th today until the 15th in new york city a special movie detailing the SNK Universe project will be shown there in the form of a manga dive experience. The movie will include manga created especially for manga dive in addition to game footage from the KOF series. It will deliver a full-fledged immersive experience that explores the unique world in history of KOF. And we have here, this is, all right, this is a manga panel showing Shune against Isla. So we'll talk about all this. So uh, the rest is manga, um, Shueisha XR, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it here, it's um, this experience done by Shueisha, we'll talk about it here, give you a better idea, manga dives in immersive museum, and then New York Comic Con, now let's, let's go back and explain all this. So this is quite massive, now well, there's another thing I want to talk about, there's another thing I want to talk about here, and it's this image here that was with the press release, they're talking about this SNK universe, and they're saying, that the first project is KOF revamp. Is KOF revamp is now underway. Now let's try to explain what's happening here. Basically, SNK is saying SNK is branching out from just video games. There'll still be fighting games. They're gonna go do more genres. We'll talk about that. And Samurai Showdown RPG is in the making. Um, but also, they're going into other media, and they specifically said manga, anime, movies, music, among others which is huge. This is something I talked about over and over again. If there's one company, one gaming company, not just a fighting game, there's one gaming company that has an amazing potential in its IPs in terms of animation, movies, and other medias, is SNK. SNK was one of the first companies ever uh, outside of you know Marvel and DC to have a cohesive shared universe between its IPs. This is something that every other company has been striving to achieve following the Marvel Cinematic Universe success, and most of them failed. But SNK was actually there way before when they decided to have Fatal Fury and Auto Fight in the same universe. King of Fighters is in a separate universe canonically, but I hope that's gonna change because there's so much potential there. So what they're saying here is that they're going to be making anime, movies, mangas based on their IPs. They specifically mentioned the King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, and Samurai Showdown, which is amazing. Then they said that there's a KOF revamp happening. That's the first project. We're, we'll know more about it. I don't know what it is, but if we're looking at that here, if you look at that, we have the screenshot here from a panel that looks, it's a manga panel. So 
If I have to guess, we're probably gonna get a new manga, a new King of Fighters manga that is based on the King of Fighters 15. Is that KOF revamp? I really don't know. But let's talk a little bit about Shueisha. What is Shueisha? Shueisha is a company, very famous publisher, that publishes mangas in Japan. They are the publishers of the super famous Shonen Jump. What's Shonen Jump? It's a manga magazine, if you don't know what it is, and it's where so many popular mangas have debuted, including Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, One Piece, uh, anything you can think of, honestly. Um, Naruto, pretty much every, all the popular mangas have made their debut first on Shonen Jump before becoming the famous mangas we all know and love in anime, obviously. So the fact that they are, they are actually partnered with Shueisha is huge. This is a big manga publishing company. That means they're looking into publishing, maybe publishing the mangas. And, and that screenshot, that screenshot or that panel we saw of Shune fighting Isla could be a manga that we're going to see in Shonen Jump. It'll be massive. They're talking about um, Shueisha XR. So what Shueisha XR is, is this extra experience um, using AR, uh, augmented reality and, and VR, where you actually, as you look through the manga, you can use your phone and get more information and see avatars or see 3D um, uh, the 3D uh, representation of the characters you're looking at. It's uh, it's it's something cool. It's an extra thing. It's not going to be a main form of um, getting you know uh, mangas and animes, but it's a it's a it's a cool thing that adds uh, the immersion uh, of of you know um, of the uh, content that you read in. Uh, they're saying that they're gonna show this movie, and by movie it's not it's not a movie, but like it's like a trailer that's gonna explain more about this SNK Universe project. And they're going to talk about the KOF revamp, which, again, I'm guessing it could be a new manga. <clears throat> uh, the other thing is uh, they're, they're going to do this through the manga dive. What is manga dive? It's 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 definitely an ex exposition. It's basically like a museum where you're going to see, you know, panels and videos and using XR and using uh, AR probably to get more experience. So this is more of like a, a booth that they're going to have at New York Comic Con, which is starting today. So we should learn, should learn more information later in the day or maybe tomorrow about all this but this is super exciting this is absolutely what i hope and many of us have hoped as i said but snk by the way is no strange to manga and anime adaptation they obviously we have the fear of fury anime movies from masami obari in the early 90s fear of fury one two in the motion picture we had which were a uh, success by the way and then we had other projects that didn't were not really quite successful like the auto fighting the first samurai showdown anime and there are others that are so obscure that are actually good but nobody knows about them it's the samurai showdown 64 uh, anime which is actually pretty good and then we had recently the, re the, the recent um adaptation in form of anime was the king of fighters destiny cgi anime shorts or series which was okay but it really uh tried to do too much and we'll talk we'll have a whole video about it so it's really exciting to see that they mentioned specifically anime i think the king of fighters has huge potential to be a long-running anime series that could rival so many great anime that we know. There is the potential there. There is there's story, there's drama, there's humor. So much potential. Mangas, movies, it's all in there. And I am so happy to see SNK going after this, um, going, uh, going across media. It's absolutely amazing. In terms of mangas, the last manga we had about the King of Fighters was the uh, the King of Fighters Gaiden, the Shingo side story, which was a continuation of the King of Fighters A New Beginning, which in itself was an adaptation of the King of Fighters 14. Are we going to get a continuation on Shonen Jump by Shueisha? I don't know. I can't wait to learn more, but this is super, super excited. Um, count on me to keep you guys updated as soon as I learn more about this, because this is huge and this is what we've been waiting for for a very long time. So get excited and don't forget to like and subscribe.